Good morning, Danny. It is July 18th, and as you may have noticed, I do not have my guitar. Even though you can't ever really see it, I need to fix that somehow. But it's Friday, which means it's time for another installment of Female Scientist Friday, wherein I describe some female scientist who has done something awesome for the world or for science as a whole. Because, ladies, it's time you finally get your due credit. Now, if you have ever taken an astronomy course in your life, you have undoubtedly heard the name Herschel before. And no, I don't mean the backpack company that makes really terrible backpacks. Now, Sir William Herschel was a pretty cool guy, but I bet you didn't know that he was just one part of an astrophysics crime-fighting duo. The other part of this duo was comprised of Caroline Herschel herself. Caroline Herschel was the eighth baby that was born into the Herschel family, which is good news for all the people who were born last in their families. It shows that you too can do awesome stuff that your older siblings can't. Except for you, Danny. You can't do anything that I can't, because I'm amazing. At the age of 10, she unfortunately contracted typhus, which meant that it stunted her growth and she only ended up being four foot three. Because of her minuscule height, her family wrote her off and said that she would never ever marry and her mother decided that she should be a servant because it was the only way she was going to accomplish anything in life. I mean, honestly, England in the 1700s, you were a little messed up. However, thankfully, her dad Isaac wanted her to be educated. And a retroactive high five goes to Isaac. After her father died, her brother William was like, Hey Caroline, how about you join me in Bath and at the very least, we can go on England's Got Talent for our singing. Well, William eventually grew to love astronomy and he persuaded Caroline to change from music to astronomy as well. William got the prestigious position of becoming the king's personal astronomer. And one of the first things that he did was to make sure that Caroline got paid for all the work that she was doing, when at a time even men doing science weren't getting paid. She was William's assistant until at the assistance of her older brother, she started making her own astronomical observations, including eight previously undiscovered comets and Messier 110. After William's death, she continued to do astronomical observations and increased our known nebulae catalog from 100 to 2,500. And that's by hand, remember? No computers during this time. For her extraordinary work, she received a gold medal from the Astronomical Society of London as well as the King of Prussia. Without Caroline Herschel, who knows how long it would have taken us to discover those objects, and her determination and drive is truly inspiring. Danny, I will see you on Monday.